Hello, and welcome back to BPC's 5 and 5 videos. As always, I'm your host, Antonio. In this edition of 5 and 5, we're taking things back to the good old days of roll and move games. Why would we do a video on the most basic of gameplay mechanics? Because there are actually some good ones out there, and they often get overlooked. Besides, it goes along with our new Gaming 101 video on roll and move games that you can see here. In a time when it feels like hobby games are getting heavier and heavier, it can be good to go back to something simple, where you don't have as much going on, but still plenty to think about. Here's our list of five great roll and move games. One of the earliest roll and move games we learn, backgammon is a staple of many people's youths and a mainstay in their parlor. The aim is pretty simple. Try and get all your pieces to the end of the board first. Sounds like most roll and move games. But there is more strategy than someone might first guess in backgammon, and an experienced player will win the lion's share of their games against an inexperienced opponent, proving that there are important decisions to be made. However, like any game with a luck element, there is always that chance that the inexperienced player gets some lucky rolls and steals a win, and that's what makes backgammon such a great game. It's straightforward rules, important decisions, and just enough luck to keep everyone on their toes. While games with sports themes can be a bit of a mixed bag, Battle Ball is a solid job of simulating football without getting too bogged down in rules or things like accurate representation. With similar rules to the classic racing game Formula D, Battle Ball gives you enough of the f feel of having control over a robotically enhanced football team to be fun to fans of the sport, but provides enough game that the non-fans can also enjoy this one too. In battle ball, like real football, you're trying to score touchdowns by moving your players down the field. To mimic the different types of players football teams have, you have different types of players in battle ball, and they use different types of dice to move. The faster the player, the more sides to the dice, but also the worse they tend to be at tackling. Can you take your team down the field for a win? Now, I know many would argue that Can't Stop is more of a push-your-luck game than a roll-and-move game, but it's still a game where you roll dice that then determine how you can move your pieces, so it keeps its place on the list. Besides, Can't Stop actually takes roll-and-move to another level. You see, in this game, you don't just move spaces equal to the number you rolled. Instead, you roll four dice, pair up your results any way you want, and move your pieces that are on those spaces forward. This gives you even more decisions to make on top of the push your luck aspect of the game to create something fun and unique that is truly takes roll and move to a different direction, proving that taking something we already know and love and giving it just the right kind of tweak can make all the difference. The next game on our list has multiple phases to it, and the first of them is not in fact rolling and moving, but the second part is, in Magical Athlete, each player starts the game with seed money to form their team, and an auction is held over the randomly drawn racer cards, each with their own special ability, most of which modify the movement rules. After each player has their team lined up, they simultaneously choose a racer for the next race in secret. Once everyone has chosen the race, begins, and going in order, every player rolls a d6 and moves their character but it's the special abilities that cause the chaos as the race goes on. One racer lets you switch places with another racer instead of rolling on your turn. One lets you push any racer that you pass backwards one space. No matter who you choose, you'll end up with one wacky time. Possibly the king of roll and move games, we have Formula D. Now I know, we used this game before, and it may even make an appearance in another video this month. However, all of this is for a reason, and that reason is Formula D is a great game. In this Formula One race simulator, you can actually switch gears, and each gear is represented by an increasingly larger die with more sides. The more sides, the more spaces you can potentially move. But don't go too fast. If you don't stop enough times in the corners, you take points of damage. Take too much damage, and your car goes kaplow. The greatness of this game is summed up in the tension on each roll. Are you going to catch up to the leader? or are you going to roll too high and crash? Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, grievances, or omissions in the comments below. Or don't forget, you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person or try any of these great games. And if you really like the video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. 
Thanks for watching. And as always, game on.